Hi guys, and welcome back to Mommy and Me Toys. Hi guys, today I have Disney Dorables Adorbs. And you guys, this is completely new to me. I just happened to come across these at Walmart. Did not even know they were a thing. So I was pretty surprised to see these. And I have no idea what to expect. I have not watched any videos or anything on these whatsoever. I have not looked them up to see any pictures of them. So I just have no idea what these are all about, except <laughs> kind of looking at the box and trying to figure that out. Now it does say there are 10 surprises in each box. Down here, it looks like it says, okay, so it says series one. So yeah, you guys, it looks like we're gonna get like these little dolls that are Disney themed. And what really caught my eye was this little Lightning McQueen one up here. Oh my gosh, so cute. Now we got Minnie Mouse, a Lotso, looks like the green alien from Toy Story. And then just more over here, Winnie the Pooh and so on. So you guys, I'm pretty excited to check them out. Here is a look at the side. Again, we have Lightning McQueen. It's so stinking cute. Here is a look at the back. And it looks like some of our surprises are on the back. So I do see a three and a four. And then we have the other side over here, which says two. So the, the, prizes, the surprises are kind of like all over the place, it looks like. Yeah, I'm just gonna open this up and see what these are all about. Plastic off of it first. So this says one. So we're just gonna go ahead and open up this. Uh, oh, okay. so this is our first one. I'm gonna go ahead and open it so I don't lose track of which one is which. Is this gonna be Lightning McQueen? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm pretty sure this is going to be Lightning McQueen. I have no idea what this piece is, but seeing that red car, I really think it's going to be Lightning McQueen. That's pretty awesome, and I really hope there's a checklist in here because I certainly want to see all the ones that we can get. Here is door number two. Has a tear strip, but it didn't quite tear far enough down. All right, let's see what we have. Oh, we have some. Oh, I'm wrong, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong about who we got. I don't know, I'm a little confused. Maybe we get, maybe we don't get one specific girl. I don't know. I have no idea how these work. But here is some little red boots. All right, let's see. Number three. These are cute little packages too. I love these little pictures on here. It's Winnie the Pooh, Stitch, and Minnie Mouse. And just the whole thing just looks like something that you would draw or like some kind of coloring. It's really cute. Or it reminds me, reminds me of color forms or something. I don't know how many of you remember color forms. Oh, is this Cruella? Oh my gosh, she has like a little hole back here. So not sure again what's up with that but this is Cruella and yeah it makes sense because there's Cruella right here on the boots I did not even see her maybe it doesn't show her on the box Let's see what we have in here this is number four What this is supposed to be. It does have like a strap. Is this supposed to be a bag, maybe? Alright, so there was number four. Where is five at? So I think at this point, okay, so it does say five, so I'm guessing at this point we go ahead and tear that off. Ooh, and then we open it up. Ooh, is this our checklist? It does look like our checklist. So we have classic crew up here. This shows all the different girls up here at Creepy Pools. Shows more girls and perfectly Pixar. So there's a little Lightning Queen one. 
don't know, it'll be inter interesting to see because we do see, again, oh, there's a whole like little backdrop of Coella, some of the little Dalmatians, and then we have this cute little rug and things on here. That's really cute. I'm still not sure where this is going because I'm looking on here. Well, there are some like mystery ones, or maybe they're coming soon. I don't know. Let's just keep going. So I kind of forget. Did I open up? Oh, it says five. So did I open up? Maybe that was just considered five. And this right here is going to be six. I'm not sure, you guys. We just got to keep going. Ooh, there's our doll. I really wonder if I didn't miss, miss something. But right here is our doll. Oh my gosh, her hair is so cool and feels so awesome. I'm gonna look on here and see. Oh, she is right here. So, I guess their names are just random names. Like, they are supposed to be certain characters or look like certain characters or have the, like, different accessories of different characters, but they actually have their own names. I need to cut her out of here, but here she is cool looking. Now I need to actually check out the box to see if I got all of the surprises out of here. I, thought maybe, I don't know, it's kind of confusing the way it is. It's kind of all over the place. Back here is a really cute little sink. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a little... Oh, we can actually open it up a little further. sitting there. We have some like lemonade and cookies. Really cute. Um, I'm trying to make sure I got all the prizes out you guys. I mean it looks like I did but it does say there are 10 surprises. So I'm trying to see what I got. I don't know if it's counting like two shoes or any of that but I'm gonna cut her out of here real quick and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back. I have her out of her box and I put her boots on, which you guys, oh my gosh. Well, first of all, she's very flexible. She has like, you can bend her at the knees and at the ankles and just, she's so flexible that trying to get these shoes on and these boots on were so difficult. But her hair feels so cool. Look at that white hair and then the black over here and it just feels so awesome it's super duper curly but so soft and then she has like these big brown eyes you can see she has some painted on hair around the edge as well and i think this right here so this right here is her necklace i didn't show that i didn't notice it must have fell out of one of the bags or or whatever but i thought this was supposed to be her necklace i don't know if both of these go around her neck or what and then we have this little adorable it's actually really cool and then we have I didn't notice so that's supposed to be like Cruella's, Cruella's car I guess but I just seen that and thought oh my gosh it's not even queen because it is red and <laughs> but it looks like so she has like this little hole in the back of her head it looks like we put her on like that and this is just like a little keychain and then we have this I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be her bag, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. That's the only thing that really makes sense to me. But yeah, overall, I think she's really cute. I do feel like they're just super duper flimsy. I don't know if it has to do with quality or just the way they're made. She does have like a hard body up top. Her body is like plastic and hard plastic. Then her legs are just... I just feel like maybe the problem is the joints just move too easily and her arms are like pretty loose feeling but i really can't have too much of an opinion on these yet until i can buy some more and check them out but let's go over our <laughs> list again real quick so it looks like this one's Minnie mouse and i actually would love to find this one that's poo looks like a donald duck and i think that's stitch and I, I really wonder if these are coming soon or if they're like mystery ones or if you like ultra ones or whatever. And this looks like Jack Skellington, which would be so stinking awesome too. 
And of course we have Koala. And down here, the perfectly Pixar. These are really cute. I do love this little alien girl. And we have Buzz, we have Lotso, and of course, Lightning McQueen. And it does show a mystery one for all different categories. So yeah, you guys, I'll just have to get some more of these and check them out. All right, you guys, here's another look at the Disney Adorables Adorbs doll that we found today. Here she is on her stand. I forgot to show you guys that beforehand. Now, it was quite hard to get her to stand on there. It's a really balancing act because her head's so heavy. I feel like she wants to just fall backwards. But overall, I think that these are, <laughs> at least she is pretty cute. I do feel like they're... Maybe she's a little too flexible and she's kind of hard to really mess with. She moves so much when you're trying to do anything. I do love her hair. But yeah, you guys, I, I really don't know too much what I think about these until I can check out some more of these. But guys, let me know down in the comments what you think about her and if you guys have opened any of them and what just what your thoughts are on these. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not already, please hit the subscribe button, like, and that bell notification so you're notified when my next videos go up. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.